Setup is super easy because this view comes with every product in our systems management portfolio. Server and application monitor, web performance monitor, virtualization manager, and storage resource monitor. Let's look at what you see in this view for each of the products. Server and application monitor provides performance and health status for 200 plus applications, virtual and physical servers, hosts, and direct attached volumes. With Web Performance Monitor, you can record a transaction on a website to play back on a regular interval to test the user experience of a website. Virtualization Manager gives you visibility to all your virtual infrastructure performance for VMware and Hyper-V, as well as trending and analysis across your entire virtual environment. Storage Resource Monitor provides performance and health status for your storage arrays across multiple vendors in a single pane of glass. For each of the resources monitored, there is a status displayed. The color is based on the object's current status that is generated by product-specific thresholds, which can be customized. To the left of this view, you will see a legend for what all the status icons mean. Here you see objects with a mixed status. The green circle shows that the server is healthy, but one of the applications on the server is in a warning state. When I click on one of the servers in this view, I can see all of the resources that have a direct relationship. Here, server Lab Demo SQL02 is a virtual server and is connected to this data store, which is connected to this LUN. On this virtual server, I have my SQL database. In this view, notice that all other objects have been shaded. If I only care about this view right now and want to eliminate the shaded objects, I just click on the Spotlight button. If I want to drill into a particular object, I simply double click it to see the product detail view. To the left of the environment view, you can see the ability to sort the view by object status. You can also type a keyword in the search bar to find a particular application, group, or server type. In order to add additional filtering options, simply click on add filter properties, select an object, like a node, and then select what you would like to filter on, location, department, vendor, OS version, etc., and then apply. Now you can filter the view on your specific requirements. Once you've created a filter, you can provide that view to other groups or departments. For instance, if I want to give a department VP access to only the performance of resources in her department, then I can filter, and then go to the upper right hand corner and save this view as a new layout. That way the department VP is able to see her resources, assuming she has permissions to do so. You can also narrow the view to eliminate empty categories and change the update interval as well. Simply click the drop down box and select layout settings. Here you make your changes. Once you have made your changes, go ahead and save. The AppSec environment view is very handy to add to your NOC view. Here's how you do it. From the web console, click Customize Page in the upper right hand corner. To start with a clean slate, let's enable a new tab on the home page strictly for the NOC view. If you haven't already done so, click on Enable Left Navigation. Then click Add Tab. For the name, let's call this NOC view for the tab in the field provided, then click Update. The new tab appears in the column to the left. Add the AppSec Environment resource to a column by clicking the green plus, then selecting AppSec Environment from the pop-up dialog. Click Add Selected Resources. Verify that Enabled Knock View mode is selected, then click Done. Now, to customize that AppSec view, navigate to Home, then Environment. In the drop-down toward the upper right, Click it and navigate to AppSec Environment. Filter your AppSec Environment according to your needs. When done, click Apply Filter. We can also click the drop down and go to Change Layout Settings to rename this to MS SQL View and hide categories containing no objects. Now hit Submit, then save the layout. Now you are ready to view it. Click on Home, then click on Knock View. For more details about the AppSec environment view, please go to solarwinds.com slash appstack.